Hello. In this video, we're going to give you a view, an overview of uh, Studio Build, how we built it, and why we built it, um, and give you a look at it. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you um, the idea behind it um, and how it was actually built. What we actually wanted was um, a studio that was modular, so we could take it apart and then put it up somewhere else because we don't actually own the property that we're in right now so we all, we need the, the ability to take the studio apart and move it um, in the future and there are existing soundproof booths that you can buy uh, from companies but what we found was that they're very expensive and um, and actually we went to go and test one out we weren't hugely impressed by the performance of it so uh, first off I'm going to show you uh, how we did this we actually made modules um, and then we bolted them together with bolts like this um, so basically we made one meter by two meter modules and then put them together kind of like Lego and then bolted them together same with the roof and then just put a door in and that was it uh, so the soundproofing layer is actually made up of two layers of plasterboard and one layer of this which is Tech 50 this is basically like a mass loaded vinyl it's a very dense material but very thin um, so uh, you know and flexible etc so this actually goes between two layers of plasterboard and the, the plasterboard we got was 12.5 millimeter sound block plasterboard which is just a little bit denser unfortunately I don't have any of the plasterboard left so I'm gonna have to use this uh, whatever this is cardboard stuff that I've got uh, as a demonstration so just pretend that this is plasterboard so the first thing that we did was we made these modules um, these frames which are one meter by two meters uh, out of two by four and this is structural timber so it's really strong uh, stuff and it's really important that, that you get the right stuff it has to be strong of course because of the weight especially in the roof so uh, what we did was we used these screws just two screws going through and then we made you know a rectangle basically on each of the corners we used these metal brackets on the inside like that screwed in and then um, so basically we ended up with, um, not sure if you can see this, but we ended up with, let's say this is the corner of one of the, the rectangular modules. Uh, we would have the, the wood like this and then a layer of plasterboard, which would obviously cover the whole rectangle. And then a layer of Tech 50, the mass loaded vinyl type product. It goes on like that. And then another layer of plasterboard over the top of that. And then these modules uh, would bolt together. So, so you'd have one, if this is the side of one of them, the bolt would go through and then bolt that to another one, which would be here, and then so on, and same for the roof. Um, the Tech 50 actually overlaps the side of the, uh, of the frame. So it goes over the plasterboard, in fact, and kind of goes down the side like this, but it's actually the other way around, it's like that. Um, so it goes down like that on all of them and then the Tech 50 squashes into the Tech 50 on the other side and that creates uh, an airtight seal which is really important uh, for soundproofing so yeah that's that and then on the inside another important thing so if you've got the the wall like this like a cross section like this uh, this will probably make sense when we go to the to the pictures of the modules a lot more sense but basically this is the corner of one this would be the outside wall of it what we then did was we put um, rock wall so I'm going to put some details of the rock wall that we actually used up on the screen uh, right now and uh, what this is we, we chose rock wall that was um, that had the right kind of uh, frequency response in terms of deadening so this is acoustics this is really used for acoustics it's not really used for soundproofing although it does help a bit uh, this is really used to, to deaden the acoustics in the room and to absorb um, you know, a flat frequency. So basically we, we calculated this, which is 10, 10 centimeters approximately, depth and in, in the inside of the modules, makes sense later. And then we filled that with, with uh, this rock wall. Uh, you can't really see this too well, but effectively that's what the, the inside of the, the wall would look like if you're looking at it from the inside. <laughs> So as a final layer on top of the, the rock wall on the inside of the room, we've used this uh, sheeting, which is basically, um, it doesn't have any acoustic properties, so the sound just goes straight through it. 
and can be absorbed by the, the rock wall. So we get a good, um, a good sound in the room, which is very important because we record the vocals in there. So the last thing I want to mention right now before we go to pictures and you know we talk through the entirety of the, of the studio um, is these screws. These uh, were needed in some um, places in order to, you know, because we couldn't get the bolt and hold the bolt from the back because uh, we couldn't get round into the room to hold the bolt, so we needed to use these kind of screws that just basically screw in to screw one module to another one, uh, mostly in the corners and the roof. We use these along the roof, but there, there'll be pictures showing that. Actually, I think the first thing that, that we're going to do is go to a picture of the final uh, look of the studio once everything was done, um, and that's showing up right now. Next up, uh, I'm going to go to a short video of me um, showing the actual kind of performance of the room. So just a, a very brief demonstration of what the performance is like. But just from me right now, um, just to briefly say that the, it is very, uh, it's very high performing. It's definitely better than the the off the shelf booths that we tried out, and it does what we need it to do. It, you can play very loud music in there, and if it's inside a uh, you know another room, which obviously it would be, uh, then you know it, it, it cuts the sound down to a point that you can pretty much do anything in there. Um, okay, so right now this is uh, going over to me doing a demonstration of the performance of the studio. Okay, now we're gonna do a little demonstration of how soundproof the, the studio is. This is the inner box that that that, that we built and it is inside a shed, which is not soundproof at all, of course. Uh, we're gonna play some very loud music. We're gonna play a song from our first album, Telos. The name of the song is down there. And it's gonna be very loud, and then we're gonna go out and show you how much of a, of a difference it makes once you go out of the first door, which is the door of the, of the actual box that we built. And then we're gonna go out of the second door, which is, a, which is not a soundproof door, it's just the shed's door, so it's not soundproof at all. We're gonna show you how much of a difference it makes, even more. So we think it shows uh, how soundproof it actually is once you have it inside a inside room, even if it's not soundproof at all. So I'm gonna play music now. It's gonna be very loud. How much? How loud is it gonna be? 110 dB. 110 dB, pretty much, more or less. So it's gonna be very loud. You should turn your speakers down it's if, you, be if you have very to. Very loud. Yeah. You're not pointing at me, I think. Oh, all right. Well, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is very, this is a bit bored, you, are you? Uh, okay, ready? Ready. I'm gonna talk uh, while the music is on, so you can see that it's very, very loud, because you're not gonna be able to, to hear my voice. <laughs> So now we're out of the first door and you can notice that it is very quiet from, from the outside already and we haven't, we haven't closed the second door yet, we're going to close it now. This door that we are closing is not soundproof at all, these walls are not soundproof at all, these are, just, these are not even really closed, it's just the, the shed's walls that they are plasterboard basically and as you can see it's totally muted, you can hear anything. And just notice how much, uh, how you can hear my voice now, and how you couldn't hear my voice at all inside. And it shows how, how loud the music actually is. So now we're gonna open this again. You can hear a bit of it. And once I open this again, this is the actual studio, by the way. This is the box. Uh, we got ventilation stuff. Uh, I'm just going to say that, that we're going to. Oh, it's okay. Uh, we're going to go to um, to photos now. We're just going to go through the photos of the studio build, and that's coming right up now. See you later.
Okay, this first picture is a photo of the, uh, the frames that we built. These frames are two meters by one meter. Okay, next up we got a photo of the corner, uh, the inside corner of the modules. You can see the metal brackets that we've screwed in. Um, and then the next picture we got now is just the two screws on the outside that we used. They're quite big screws that I showed at the start of the, the video. And uh, now next one we got a photo of some of the modules standing up um, and you can see the metal brackets holding in the corners there in all of the corners, those metal brackets. And uh, next photo you can see a lot of these modules, we had to build quite a few of them, let me think how many did we do? We did for standing wall ones we did 3, 6, 9, 11 and then three, uh, three roof modules. So the next photo is cutting some plasterboard. This, uh, this plasterboard, there was a lot of this that went on, we had to do loads of cutting of plasterboard. Um, it's actually fairly uh, intensive work, but uh, you know, we got it done in the end. Okay, next photo we got um, more cutting plasterboard. And the next one is, here you can see um, just basically a big stack of plasterboard. This is the, the sample plasterboard that, that we used. And uh, this next photo actually shows the, the kind of plasterboard that we used. Um, this is sound block, I think it's 12.5 mil. You could use thicker plasterboard, but this was good enough for us. Um, so basically the process is, as I said, we build those frames and then we start to layer the plasterboard on top. Uh, this next photo is a photo of the frame on the floor and then two layers of plasterboard sitting on top of it. And the next photo is um, actually just one layer of plasterboard on top of one of the frames and we're, we're rolling out some of the Tech 50 which is the mass loaded vinyl type product, very dense uh, material. We're, we're rolling that over the first layer of plasterboard and then here uh, we've actually got it all the way over the, the uh, frame and first layer of plasterboard. So you can see it drapes over the edges, as I said at the start of the video. Okay, and here you can see we've laid over the top of that um, another layer of plasterboard, which we're then screwing in. You can see here screwing in uh, the last layer of plasterboard on top. That screw goes through the Tech 50, through the layer of plasterboard that's uh, beyond the Tech 50, and then into the actual wooden frame. So here's another couple of photos of um, that stage in the process. This is just one module that we're showing here, but we had to make 11 of these for the, for the walls and then three for the roof. Um, by the way, the room that we ended up with was three meters by three meters by two. Uh, ideally, we'd, you'd want it three meters by four meters for better acoustics, but uh, we dealt with that with the rock wall. So this next photo is us turning over uh, the module, they're, they're fairly heavy uh, but manageable and then you can see here uh, the module lying the other way round with the frame on the inside uh, pointing up and uh, you can see we've cut the corners out of the Tech 50 on the sides there so that we could fold it over and that's what we've done in this next photo and we're stapling it up the sides. Uh, we then stapled it up each of the sides um, as I explained at the start and we end up with this, which is uh, just a stack of modules. Uh, we got there, what, four one by two meter wall modules. And so moving on, we now have uh, 11, I think. That's, that's us finished with the wall modules. You can see them all standing there. Uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of work. Not too much work, but um, you know, we, we uh, we got there in the end and we were, we were really working evenings and weekends so uh, it took us I think three weeks to a month to finish this project. Uh, okay so this next photo is us cutting strips of the Tech 50 and th these strips are actually used to go on the floor um, you know basically underneath the entire studio. So underneath all of the frames, all the walls is this layer of Tech 50 these strips that uh, decouple the studio from the floor uh, and also just make it slightly more airtight. Um, so here's a picture of two of the the first two uh, wall modules being uh, screwed together. Um, for this job the f we actually used those coach screws that I spoke about at the start of the video, those, those long green screws, not bolts. 
Um, and the reason for that is because we couldn't get around the back, it's too close to the exterior, to the outside building. So this next photo is us actually joining another wall module to that corner that we've created. And moving ahead now, this is a photo of one entire wall and two corners. Um, and now we have, we're moving on actually to, uh, to creating one of the roof modules. Uh, these roof modules were three meters by one meter and they are made in the exact same way as the, the uh, wall modules but we had to obviously cut longer stretches of timber and also add on some bits of uh, plasterboard because you know the plasterboard didn't come in three meter sheets so we had to add bits on but essentially it's the same same uh, concept so there's a photo of the, the roof module um, now this is a photo of the coach screws as I mentioned earlier this is just uh, showing where we screwed into the the corners uh, to pull the modules together where we couldn't get the bolts uh, to, to work because we couldn't get around the back. This photo is one entire wall at the back and then a roof module and two side uh, modules. Then we just carried on basically in the same manner. Uh, here's a photo of, actually this shows uh, the separation between the studio building on the inside and the out outer building so you can see it doesn't actually touch the walls at any point or the ceiling and that's really what you want this is a room within a room um, okay so now this is just a, a few more photos of uh, us moving on with the process of connecting these modules together now it's time for the door this is us carrying the door out um, this door is actually just a security door. It's a metal door with very good hinges. We really just wanted a fairly heavy door with good good hinges for some mass. And then uh, we actually stuck a piece of Tech 50 to the exterior to the to the to the door, so it sandwiches the Tech 50 into the door frame into the seal. So it seals pretty well, actually, uh, pretty effective. So this isn't actually an acoustic door, we, we just got a security door that was actually filled pretty heavy and, and then stuck some uh, mass loaded vinyl type material onto it. Uh, here you can see how we dealt with the door handle, we just cut holes in the Tech 50 and you know, put the door handle back on. Here's some photos of us putting some acoustic sealant around the door, uh, some foam and then we actually also, that foam was to fill the bigger gaps, you can see the pink stuff. This uh, fills the bigger gaps. And then we went on to use some acoustic sealant, which is the, the kind of malleable white type sealant, um, just to fill around all the frames where the frames meet the plasterboard. And we did that for the entire studio, as you can see in this photo here, um, and again here. Okay, so at this point in the video, we've got to a point where we have the actual shell of the studio built and uh, the next step is to install rock wall and this sheet that goes over the front to make it look okay um, and again you know that's basically for the for the acoustics inside the room uh, more than anything and then we, this is also in this part we're also going to show how we did the ventilation which was really quite tricky um, you know it's quite hard to build a soundproof ventilation uh, unit but that's that's what we did and it's very very effective I mean actually the, the ventilation module that we've got we figured out it's actually better performing than than any other module um, so let's go straight to that okay so now it's time to fill in the, the modules that we have with Rockwall on the inside of the studio this is uh, as I said twice before this is for acoustics really but it does help with the uh, soundproofing slightly just because it stops sound bouncing around everywhere and stops harmonics building up too much inside the room. Um, so, you know, with a room this size, this is pretty good. And we've, we've done every single module. We didn't do all of the roof, but we did the corners uh, with this 10 centimeter deep rock wall. And this is quite dense stuff. Um, this is kind of, I was looking at um, using fiber board, uh, but you know, this, this actually had the best um, sort of statistics for our use. Here's a photo of four of the modules completed and filled with Rockwell. Um, now we're moving on to just a few more photos of the modules being filled up with Rockwell. 
and you can see we actually at this point installed some new lights as well these are LED lights we did some that are the white that are white light um, and then some that are color changing here's some nice photos of uh, of the lighting that we have installed in the studio okay next up is the ventilation module this was pretty tricky and you know um, it's quite a difficult thing to do because obviously you, you need holes in the wall but for the air to go through but you also need it to be soundproof so those things are kind of counterintuitive but uh, we did it and it was actually this is actually very very effective um, what we did was we we basically you can see in this photo we created like a maze inside one of the existing modules that were there that's already in the wall um, and then the idea is to run uh, ducting through it you'd have the intake on one one half of this and the, and the uh, the outtake on the other so moving ahead a couple more photos of that that part of the process then we basically cut holes in the outside of the the studio where we needed to um, for the fan for the intake fan uh, installed on the on the exterior of the studio and then the uh, the the outtake uh, vent and okay this is a fan that we used you can get more information about this but you really want to use a fan that is uh, rated to to be able to deal with the the air that um, you know, the amount of pressure that it has to push through the venting so we had a lot we did a lot of research into what was the best fan I'm going to put some links in the description um, links to the Tech 50 and also to this fan um, maybe some other stuff so here's a photo of the outside where the, the air comes out and then this next photo is um, one of the the ducts uh, actually installed uh, you can see down the bottom actually there we've got rock wall down the bottom uh, just to add a little bit of sound deadening so it makes it even more difficult for the sound to get out uh, you can see on the left where that venting actually is that is the uh, intake so then the outtake for the air will be on the right side of that module and then this next photo shows both the intake and outtake installed but without the um, the next layer of soundproofing a wall on the inside so the idea here was basically that what we what we did was we had the same as the exterior wall on the inside uh, a plus this kind of routing of the air through the vent and it resulted in uh, the weakest point in that ventilation system being actually um, you know the same amount if not a little bit more soundproofing than anywhere else in the studio uh, so yeah it was pretty effective so this uh, next photo next few photos is us actually having finished this this uh, ventilation module and this photo is us just putting the last putting the last uh, plasterboard on on the inside um, here's a photo of the roof we used this mesh to put to hang some uh, rock wall in the corners because corners are uh, notoriously bad acoustically um, this is where bass really builds up and bass is the biggest problem in a room this size um, so you know we really wanted to get as much sound deadening in the corners as we could and we managed to do all of the corners and then we covered it all in the material I showed at the start which was which is basically a kind of um, it, it's a material that you know doesn't really have any effect on the sound that passes through it so you can see here we're actually putting that over we covered all the walls and uh, the roof um, then we just installed this carpet we put the underlay down and then we just put some carpet over it and here are some photos of the end result Okay, so that's it for the uh, studio build overview. I hope this is helpful for some people out there. I just want to finish by saying that the entire project cost us around £1,750, which is, I don't even know, a quarter of the price, maybe even less, quarter or a fifth the price of what you'd uh, spend on a off-the-shelf studio such as this one. 
um, and basically it's definitely more effective as well and also we can take it apart and re when we relocate so um, you know we're really happy with it so thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon